وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Inshallah we ta'ala in today's uh, reflection over the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the verse I want to cover is where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said قَدِ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ تَحَاوُرَكُمَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ بَصِيرٌ this surah is called Surah Imma Al Mujadila or Al Mujadala. Both ways you can say it. You can place a kasra on the dal or you can place a fatha on it. Al Mujadila, if you place a kasra on it, it means the woman who, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to speak about. Okay? Khawla bint Ta'laba is referring to her who came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to complain to the Prophet alayhi wa sallam about a problem she had. And if you say Al-Mujadala by placing a Fathana, you're referring to the story, the event and what was happening. Okay? So, the scholars, they call it Surah Qad Sami'ah. And so sometimes it's called even Surah Al-Zihar. And sometimes it's actually called Surah Al-Mujadala Am Al-Mujadila. Okay? Um, one of the beautiful things about this Surah and it's one of the things that this surah, يعني, تميزت, it's unique over the whole entire Quran, is that there is not a verse in this surah except, except that it has Allah's name in it, Laftul Jalala. Not Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Allah. Every single ayah in Surah Al Mujadala, Am Al Mujadila, every single ayah, Allah is in there. Laftul Jalala is there. And Naha Lam Takhlu, ayah minha min Laftul Jalala. Laftul Jalala is there. You can go and check it yourself. The things that this surah deals with, brothers and sisters, is quite a few things. The first one is, it starts off straight away mentioning, and it opens the surah with mentioning Allah Azza wa Jalla can hear. Quality and the characteristics of hearing, these attributes that Allah wa Ta'ala can hear. And that's why Allah concluded the ayah, Inna Allah Sami'un Basir, and started the ayah with it, Qad Sami'a Allah, and Inna Allah Sami'un Basir. The second thing that the surah uh, mentions and discusses and talks about is the, the it warns uh, those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. Allah says, "Inna ladina yuhadun Allah wa Rasulah kubitu kama kut kubita ladina min qablihim kubitu kama kubita ladina min qablihim wa qad anzalna ayatin bayinat wa lil kafirin adabu muhin." يَوْمَ يَبْعَثُهُمُ اللَّهُ جَمِيعًا فَيُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا أَحْصَاهُ اللَّهُ وَنَسُوهُ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ The third one, the third point Allah talks about is the vastness of Allah's knowledge subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah encompassed everything. حتى the private conversation that we're having, He knows it subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sees and He knows and He has knowledge of the actions of this creation. Everything subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows it. That's why Allah says in the ayah, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ رَابِعُهُمْ وَلَا خَمْسَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ سَادِسُهُمْ وَلَا أَدْنَى مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْثَرَ إِلَّا هُوَ مَعَهُمْ أَيْنَمَا كَانُوا ثُمَّ يُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا يَوْمَ الْقِيَام إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ نُهُوا عَنِ النَّجْوَى ثُمَّ يَعُودُونَ لِمَا نُهُوا عَنْهُ وَيَتَنَاجَوْنَ بِالْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَيَتَنَاجَوْنَ بِالْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَمَعْصِيَةِ الرَّسُولِ أَنْتِ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى هِيَ سَيْسَ إِنَّمَا النَّجْوَى مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ لِيَحْزُنَ الَّذِينَ 
ليحزن الذين آمنوا وليس بضارهم شيئا إلا بإذن الله وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون and the fourth thing Allah speaks about is the manners the manners and the etiquettes of sitting some people just want to and how do you sit down? What's the akhlaq? What's the adab of sitting down? Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu idha qila lakum idha qila lakum tafassahu fil majalisi fafsahu yafsahillahu lakum wa idha qila nshuzu fanshuzu yarfa'illahu aladhina amanu minkum waladhina utu al-ilma darajat wallahu bima ta'amaluna khabir the fifth point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the surah is the issue of putting sadaqah to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before you do munajat, before you have a consultation session with him alayhi salatu wasalam, and how that was abrogated finally. It was abrogated. It used to be at the beginning but not anymore. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentioned Ya ayyu alladhina amanu idha najaytumu al-rasoola faqaddimu bayna yaday najwaakum sadaqah thalika khayrun lakum wa atahar fa in lam tajidu fa inna Allah ghafoorun raheem aashfaqtum an tuqaddimu bayna yaday najwaakum sadaqat fa idh lam tafalu wa taab Allahu alaykum فأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة فأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وأطيعوا الله ورسوله والله خبير بما تعملون. The sixth point Allah تبارك وتعالى talks about is rebuking the munafiqin. Why they took the Yahud as their allies and their hypocrisy. Now Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is prepared for them a severe punishment. Allah says, أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ تَوَلَّوْ قَوْمًا غَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مَا هُمْ مِنْكُمْ وَلَا مِنْهُمْ وَيَحْلِفُونَ عَلَى الْكَذِبِ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Until Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, إِسْتَحْوَذَ عَلَيْهِمُ الشَّيْطَانُ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ ذِكْرَ اللَّهِ أُولَٰئِكَ حِزْبُ الشَّيْطَانِ أَلَا إِنَّ حِزْبَ الشَّيْطَانِ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ The eighth or seventh point Allah mentioned, the seventh point is um, the allegiance and the love between, that there, that there is no allegiance and love between the mu'mineen and those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. There's no allegiance at all. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُحَادُّونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ أُولَٰئِكَ فِي الْأَذَلِّينَ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَأَغْلِبَنَّ أَنَا وَرُسُلِي إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَوِيٌّ عَزِيزٌ لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يوادون من حاد الله ورسوله ولو كانوا آباءهم أو أبناءهم أو إخوانهم أو عشيرتهم أولئك كتب في قلوبهم الإيمان وأيدهم بروح منه ويدخلهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه أولئك حزب الله ألا إن حزب الله هم المفلحون So those are the main eight points that the surah talks about. And at the beginning Allah talks about قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا What is this referring to? Our mother Aisha رضي الله عنها she mentioned in the hadith al-Imam al-Bukhari narrated it mu'allaqan fi kitab al-Tawheed under the chapter of wa kana Allahu sami'an basira and Hafiz ibn Hajar mentions in Fathul Bari that the hadith even that though Bukhari brought it mu'allaqan that al-Imam al-Nasai narrated it mawsoolan connected also Ibn Majah mentions in the muqaddimah of his sunan and Ahmed also narrated it mawsoolan and Ibn Jalil al-Tabari mentioned it mawsoolan if you go to his tafsir Ibn Abi Hatim in his tafsir he mentioned it al-wahidi in asbab al-nuzul they all mentioned it connected 
Our mother Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, Alhamdulillah, alladhi wasi'a sam'uhu al-aswat. Praise is to Allah, the one whose hearing has encompassed everything. Laqad ja'ati al-mujadala, al-mujadila. The one who is arguing, debating with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yani discussing with the Prophet alayhi wa sallam, she came. To kalimuhu, she was talking to the Prophet, wa ana fi nahiyati al-bayti, I was in the corner of the house, Aisha said. Ma asma'u ma taqul, I couldn't hear what she was saying. فأنزل الله عز وجل أن الله sent down the verse قد سمع الله قول التي تجادلك في زوجها الله is saying I heard this woman the discussion that she's having with you regarding the affairs of her husband عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها she says I'm in the corner of the house by the way those houses didn't have walls they weren't like that it was easy to hear what somebody was saying in the next room عائشة say I'm in the corner and I can't even hear what they're saying to each other and Allah from high above is saying, I heard what, they, what she said to you. The story of this is a woman by the name of Khawla binti Ta'laba. And she came to complain about her husband. She came to the Prophet والسلام, to complain about her husband because what her husband said to her was that you are like the back of my mother. His name is Aus ibn Samit. He said to her, you are like the back of my mother. Okay, which is a qadiyya, a mas'ala known as mas'ala al-dihar. And so he said to Anti Aliya Kalahri Ummi, when he said this statement to her, he entered onto her after that and she said, No, 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 no. Wallahi, we're not going to treat this like it's normal. She said, Kalla walladhi nafsu khawla bi yadihi. I swear by the Lord in which Khawla's soul is in his hand. Ah, you're not going to just say this and, and I'm not going to get a fatwa for it. So she went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and she complained to the Prophet. Alayhi salatu wasalam. She mentioned, Ya Rasulullah, I was a young girl. He got married to me. When he got married to me, I lost everything. I lost my beauty. I lost everything. And now he says to me, you are like the back of my mother and etc. She complained to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, about her situation. And then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he brought the verdict in this mas'ala. Again, my aim, my aim and objective is not to focus on the masail fiqhiyah in the ayat. But I just wanted to take a benefit from your brothers and sisters. That when we call unto Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and we beg him, he can hear us subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah hears everything subhanahu wa ta'ala. His hearing is vast subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to call on to him and beg him. When Allah tabarak wa ta'ala talked about Nabi Zakariya, إِذْ نَادَى رَبَّهُ نِدَاءً خَفِيًّا He called on to his Lord privately. But he's calling on to him as well. Allah heard it subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he said, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي وَهَنَ الْعَظْمُ مِنِّي My bones have become weak. وَشْتَعَلَ الرَّأْسُ شَيْبًا وَلَمْ أَكُمْ بِدُعَائِكَ رَبِّ شَقِيَّةً He's begging his Lord, humbling himself for him. Brothers and sisters, when you beg Allah and you call on to him, Allah can hear it subhanahu wa ta'ala. No person's dua and supplication, does it mix up for Allah than with another, with, with another supplication? No. Hundred millions of people can all beg Allah at one time, the whole entire creation, from the time of Nabi Allah Adam, ila yawmina hadha, ama ila an yarith Allah al-ardu wa man alayha, all of the creation, if they all one time, the same split second, they all talk to Allah, Wallahi Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, hears each and every single person's calling. Not one voice mixes up with the other voice for him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are the ones who are weak like that. But if one person is talking to us, and another person starts talking to us, we get confused. We can only hear one person at a time. But Allah is not like that, subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. My Lord, your Lord, He can hear everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can hear what, was, what we're whispering in our hearts. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He says, يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنِ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ What you're hiding in your chest. Those thoughts that are running through your heart and mind, that you're whispering to yourself. He can hear it and He knows of it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows subhanahu wa ta'ala what we're listening to and what we're doing. Let's use those يعني, jawarih, our limbs, in that which is obedient, obedient to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video 
and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.